Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> However, um, I'm here on behalf of the Ministry of Regional Development and the EU funds of the Republic of Croatia, and I'm also here to uh, pass you the greetings of my minister, uh, Gabriela Žalac, uh, who is um, actually uh, on the other side of, of the world uh, uh, attending a very important conference. So we had to, to split, and um, it was decided that I'm uh, to come here to represent or to present to you how in Croatia we are trying to use uh, EU structural funds that we have available um, in order to uh, promote and develop a uh, concept of circular economy. Um, just um, as um, maybe uh, uh, one sentence of a background circular economy um, having it uh, having it in its core uh, the, the intention uh, that value of products, materials, and resources are maintained as long as it is possible uh, and the generation of, uh, of uh, waste is minimized. Having that in mind, we have started to use the uh, assets of uh, operational program competitiveness and cohesion through which the uh, EU has allocated as uh, funds for um, uh, uh, to be used. Uh, and part of it was uh, dedicated also to um, the uh, priority which is dealing with the uh, with, uh, um, management um, of uh, waste, with the uh, energy uh, consumption, consumption, with the eco innovations, and many other, many other things. Uh, having that in mind, in 2015, the, the EU has adopted the action plan for the circular economy that also had defined our uh, endeavors and undertakings in, in that field. Uh, the action plan being focused on production and consup consumption of, uh, of uh, uh, waste, however, the focus of it being put on the waste management. Um, even though uh, from the operational program, so European structural and investment funds um, could be used for both consumption and production of waste, uh, we have focused uh, our resources as a public resources on the activities which are mostly related to the public sector, which actually comes and goes to the uh, management of waste. How it looks today, not actually really today, but the data that we had uh, in mind at the time when doing the programming and planning how to use the funds, uh, total amount of produced waste uh, at the time um, when it was measured was 3.7 million tons, which was 10% more than uh, two years before. The reference data here presented uh, concerns the 2014, uh, but the trends are pretty much uh, the same. Uh, we're going the same in, the, in that direction, so uh, it was obvious that we had to do something to influence uh, to influence and decrease the, uh, the amounts of uh, waste and to use uh, the uh, the waste in a more um, comprehensive and smart way. Um, well, communal, um, at the same time, we have also uh, the amount of uh, communal waste which uh, had its kind of stable value because of the economic crisis at the time. So these were the references in which we were uh, we were planning the um, financial resources to be used in that uh, that field. Um, well, and uh, as as you can see from the data presented here, Croatia is still quite uh, far from uh, the um, global uh, objectives and the, and the perspectives. However. Um, um, some of the uh, data presented here um, tells us that we were kind of uh, achieving the progress, uh, having in mind that um, at the time of uh, programming uh, um, the perspective and use of funds, we had a national management plan, uh, plan which uh, had a completely different perspective, a different focus. At the time, we were focusing on um, building uh, management, waste management centers, having 10 such locations planned in the, throughout the country. However, um, 
at the time we, when we started to use funds, um, we had to introduce the new waste management strategy, when that, which then uh, changed and focused more on the circular economy, and therefore we had to uh, change our, our priorities uh, at, the same, at the same time. Um, well, we still have, as you can see in the, in the very last um, line, we still have quite a bit of uh, waste uh, which is uh, put at the uh, landfills, but uh, things are moving uh, and progressing even though we are not um, entirely happy with the pace. It is happening, we have to admit. Well, um, that, that brings us to uh, the waste management system that we had adopted in, uh, for the period of 2017-2017. 22, as you can see, this was right already at the middle of the financial perspective. So we had to, uh, we were changing the waste management system and adopting the new waste management plan, having already uh, programmed the uh, way how we, are go how we were going to use the financial resources. Uh, this uh, brought us to, um, or put us in a position to um, define our, uh, our goals quite ambitiously, uh, focusing on preventing the production of waste, uh, focusing on um, uh, recycling, uh, focusing on reuse, focusing on separation of waste. So focusing on all the steps before getting to the waste management centers. Uh, at the time, it meant that we had to uh, redefine also the uh, way of uh, using the uh, financial resources, having the European Commission to um, allow us or uh, approve uh, our changes uh, in the strategy, which then affected also uh, the, the use of our financial means. Um, Besides uh, what I already said, the focus of the new uh, waste management plan was also to follow the hierarchy of uh, waste management, uh, which uh, was indeed in line with the uh, waste framework directive. So all these changes brought us to the situation that we had to introduce quite a number of uh, very specific um, measures that would lead us to um, first of all, prevent the uh, appearance or the production of waste, and then once we have it, uh, to uh, go to the concrete measures which would then uh, decrease, um, uh, the, um, introduce the steps to reuse it, recycle it, and uh, uh, decrease the uh, final amount of total waste. Um, not to go into uh, concrete measures, but to take one that appears in all the groups of the measures, which is raising the awareness of population and increasing the education of population on treating the waste and uh, uh, managing the waste primarily at the doorstep and then once uh, leaving the doorstep, uh, going through uh, different uh, steps and different uh, types uh, of, uh, of uh, management. This kind of um, uh, politics or this kind of, this kind of policy and these kind of measures um, were seen as ones to result in a very direct economic uh, benefits and an economic uh, uh, use by um, opening, of course, sources for new workplaces, opening um, new um, Introduct, introducing new technologies, um, opening uh, new uh, uh, steps and uh, plans for uh, treating the waste, which uh, then uh, also allow us to uh, lower, the, lower the pressures on very scarce resources or resources that we have to take care about, uh, which is primarily uh, water, as, uh, as already mentioned. So uh, being aware that ch changes uh, are uh, needed, uh, we have obviously decided to focus on the future step, on what has to be done uh, before, uh, and less uh, getting focused on what happened before and how we deal with the, with the situations from before. So. Uh, um, uh, treating or managing the um, 
uh, landfills which are not, uh, um, which, are, which are wild, we call them wild landfills, cleaning the nature, um, uh, treating the, um, the current uh, landfills uh, with the proper measures so to uh, have their capacity uh, being limited to as long as we uh, need the time to uh, transfer them into uh, a proper uh, management system centers. Uh, these are the measures that we are undertaking and uh, for that also using, using the money uh, from the European Structural Fund. Um, focuses, of course, on the measures that are uh, on the side of the public uh, because we are using, after all, public money and focuses, focuses on the measures which are quite expensive uh, for which we are also aware that um, local and regional authorities, as also was said before, have no capacities to invest uh, on their own. Uh, as you see, the operational program competitiveness and cohesion, this is the one of the last two last slides and uh, um, that we use in this financial perspective, has a location of nearly 500 million euros which is dedicated for uh, the uh, measures and the specific uh, actions in the field of uh, management of uh, waste. Um, as you see on the slide also, it's an integrated system. It is composed of uh, various measures uh, that are to be taken uh, on our side as the Ministry of Regional Development, of course, in a very close cooperation with our colleagues from the relevant Ministry of Environment Protection. We have to make sure that all these measures are introduced, meaning that uh, the collection of useful raw materials is sorted out and uh, managed the way it should be, that uh, treatment plants are introduced, that recovery of remaining mixed municipal waste is also treated in a different uh, uh, plants that are uh, built for that purpose, and then final disposal of the remaining waste is also uh, treated in, a, in an appropriate way. This, in an appropriate waste, uh, ways. This brings us to um, uh, maybe uh, um, introduction of main difference between the two waste management plans, because we work in a kind of specific situation that had to make that we're deciding to to change it right in the middle of financial perspective. The first one, which we, with uh, which we started uh, to use the European structural funds being focused on centers for waste management uh, with quite a big capacities, with uh, quite uh, um, uh, advanced technology of uh, filterization, uh, which then, of course, applies the uh, certain amounts of money being planned for each of them. In the end, we are now uh, adapting ourselves or adapting measures to uh, the uh, system which um, requires us to lower the investments, to lower the investment in the centers for waste management because we have to uh, go many more uh, steps before getting to the, to the uh, waste management in order to waste management centers in order to introduce actually the circular economy and get all the benefits that are possible to be get uh, from that. Um, one maybe reason that I uh, did not mention, or maybe I did, if, uh, if uh, I did, I apologize for repeating. It's a question of uh, also um, Re-evaluating the uh, investment and the value of man money that is being that was being planned to be invested in the waste management centres, the way uh, we are reconsidering it now and uh, implementing now by uh, using the principles of circular economy is definitely more efficient and more, um, I would say, cost-effective um, in terms of our uh, our economy, our environment, but also in terms of uh, using the um, um, European Structural Investment Funds, which are to be invested mostly in, in this sector. Uh, should you have any questions, or is there, uh, uh, should there be anything that I haven't uh, explained appro uh, appropriately, uh, please do not hesitate to, to ask uh, questions. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.